Word of the day. Uh, it's called DACA. So just to give you one minute uh, to make sure you capture it. So I start counting it down. So DACA, this is uh, our word of the day. Okay, great. So uh, I just wanted to uh, we talk a little bit about uh, regions. Uh, as I said, uh, that um, in this map application, uh, when you are drawing a map, we actually have uh, what I can call two kind of uh, regions. Uh, the one that is being uh, automatically uh, uh, created uh, when you are actually uh, uh, presenting a map, but another is uh, a region that is being customized. Uh, which is actually a uh, fit based when uh, you know your data, you have reviewed your data, and then you can put your custom uh, region interval. That if you are actually want to do analysis for uh, one of the performing indicators, so you can just uh, put uh, the region in a way that uh, it actually depicts what a uh, user should uh, uh, should see. That for those uh, location or for those district or whatever region that have a high performance or have met the target, should it be given this color. And those which, which uh, they actually struggling uh, should also be given another color. And uh, uh, for those that uh, uh, they are actually performing good, they are still at the baseline, uh, they should be given a certain car so that should be able to differentiate uh, which one has performed and which uh, has not performed. I think this also, you have already seen the way how to do that in the pivot table, you have already seen that how to do in a, in a data visualizer. So for those kind of uh, regions, they are actually being uh, defined by the administrator, uh, after reviewing the data or after maybe given and required to request it to kind of define them and they can be used uh, along to the uh, intended indicator. So take an example, for example, you can create a map, let's add one of the thematic map and then uh, uh, select the indicator group of the immunization. I can use one of the immunization coverage and I can take one of the example uh, of maybe the BCG. Let's uh, uh, take this BCG coverage. And then uh, for the period, uh, let me take for the last year, I can just put it for the last year. And for the organization unit, I can just want to show uh, uh, for the district. Mm -hmm. And then uh, once I can just add it here, uh, so as you can see, I have the, my map uh, being uh, shown, uh, but you can see uh, this one, uh, the region here, it's not now uh, actually being generated uh, automatically. As you can see, things has been arranged in order. Uh, you can see that the laws is starting from maybe zero to 70, and we have two districts actually, which is belonging to that. And then you have this mid middle, which is, uh, uh, coming from 70 to 80, and they also have two districts belonging to that uh, group. And then you have uh, high uh, from 80 to 90, and then uh, highest from 90 to 100. And then you have this invalid, those that actually goes uh, beyond the range, but we don't have any district that belong to that. So as you can see, this is one of the, uh, one of the, uh, regent, a uh, customized region that has been created after reviewing the indicator and uh, be able to create the region that will actually be able, be able to categorize the performance depending on the uh, location uh, or depending on the organization unit. But another question that you could ask, but we haven't seen the uh, place where we can ask, we can select this uh, customized region. So where does this come from? So when you are configuring uh, whatever the indicator or whatever, yeah, especially the indicator, uh, we have the place where we want to, to include a uh, customized region to that specific indicator. So you might find that 
you may find that this indicator when it was being created, uh, it has been assigned a customized region. So when you are drawing it or when you are analyzing the data, uh, it will be automatically applied. But uh, for those indicators that uh, they uh, haven't been assigned the uh, region when they are being created, uh, you can still uh, assign them uh, or you can still uh, assign uh, them through uh, the, any analytical tool that you'll be using. So how to do that? So for example, we have this thematic layer showing it. So editing this one and they come to, uh, to style here, uh, we first we are using this automatic color region, which is actually if you tick here, it actually provides uh, the color code here you can, where you can also de decide to select one of the uh, one of the uh, one of the colors here. Uh, but for now, if you have this indicator being assigned uh, the customized region doing the customization, it actually pick this the defined so. The option to be that uh, if you have the region being assigned to the indicator, it will not use the automatic ladder. It will use those that customized region that has been assigned to the uh, to the indicator. So as you can see, it actually comes uh, ticked here, and then uh, you will be able to see the region set that has been uh, selected. So this is the one that has been uh, created and then assigned to the uh, indicator. But if at all that if happens. Uh, maybe a certain indicator that uh, was being uh, created, it was not being assigned uh, uh, the, the region, then uh, you could also be able to find uh, the region that has been created that actually uh, fits to that uh, particular indicator that uh, you, are, uh, you are analyzing. So that's how, that's where you can also uh, be able uh, to uh, to select the uh, pre-defined or pre-defined color region or the customized color color region, but also another option you can also uh, want to show the labels. For example, you can also include the label. Uh, in fact, only want to know uh, the performance of each district by uh, by name. So it will just give you, for example, this one here, which was highest was vegetable, and then you have uh, uh, this one here, uh, which was a dog. And, uh, and and the different uh, different location that you can see. But uh, again, you might also need to uh, want to see, for example, uh, for this one that is having red, for example, for the desert uh, uh, district, you, you might also need to know the facility that probably was contributing uh, to the uh, to uh, to the low performance. So how to do that? Then it comes to another functionality of drilling down or drilling up, depending with the level uh, of the uh, of the, uh, with the level of the organization unit that you are. For example, here uh, I can just uh, drill down, but just by light clicking, and then it, uh, I'll be given this menu that whether I want to drill down to one level. Or, for example, if I want to view the profile or showing the information, showing the latitude and the longitude, I can just click here. But here, uh, for me, my intention is that I want to drill down to know the facility level, uh, which actually maybe was uh, contributing to this uh, low performance in terms of uh, BCG, uh, BCG coverage. So I, if I click here, we just uh, go ahead and then uh, be able uh, to show so you find that uh, although the entire uh, the entire uh, entire district uh, was having the uh the the the, uh, the, the red color but you find that there are some other facilities actually they are doing actually not bad so uh but it's a few of them but most of them are uh, and they are doing actually they have low performance in terms of BCG coverage. So uh, that's how you can be able to drill down to be able to see uh, which facility maybe which facilities are contributing to the low coverage uh, 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 to that district district level. So uh, if again you want to drill up uh, to the uh, to the to the district where you are before, you just go to one of the facility and then you like click it and then you can drill up to. Uh, to one level. So clicking this one, actually it will, uh, it will actually bring you to the, uh, to the, 
to just uh, bring up to the uh, to the to the district that uh, where you were and uh, you were you were before. So that's how the way how you can uh, you can uh, do that. Although another way could be like going through the entire process and then maybe select a specific uh, a specific maybe uh, a specific district to the particular for example uh, for example go to the uh, animal region and then a particular district and then update it so here again it will give you uh, 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 the, the the district to that particular uh, to that particular uh, that particular region. But if you want again to drill to this uh, facility belong to this uh, 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 bed, uh, bed uh, district, uh, one way it would be that you can drill, uh, drill down by just right clicking and then this, this option. Or another way it could be is to go through the entire process, go to the bed uh, here, come to the bed, and know where, where is the bed. Uh, maybe to this one and then uh, be able to so here you now need to say to specify that I need it for the facility and then uh, update it so updating it to give you for the uh, for the uh, so here it actually sometimes might also uh, be hard to know where this uh, uh, facility belongs so you can decide to add the boundary layer that you just uh, draw uh, showing the boundary that uh, of this facility. So you can just uh, add that one. So another is just to go to up uh, where we are before and then you'll be able to see the bed, uh, the bed, uh, the bed district. So that was uh, the way how you can also drill down and uh, uh, drill up uh, depending with the level uh, of the uh, of the reporting, the organization that you are. So let me go to the original map that I was, uh, I was there before. Uh, another thing or another feature that could be used to you is that how can you know the underlying figure that uh, brings to, uh, to this map being displayed there. So another feature, you, uh, how you can know the figure of each of these, uh, the figure of each, uh, uh, of each uh, district uh, either it's by clicking to each of the district here, but the easiest way could be just come here to these three dots and be able to see at this menu here, uh, which I to show you that. So click here. Uh, you will be able to uh, show a different uh, uh, so this is the the Hello, can, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, great, great. I was struggling with the internet now. Thanks, it's back. So uh, I was just showing you how you can know the underlying figure uh, that uh, this map has been drawn. So uh, what I just said is that uh, you will be seeing this for each layer, you actually being, will be seeing these three dots. Where upon opening these three dots here, you will see this uh, menu here called uh, showing data table. So clicking it to it, you will be able to um, uh, to to be able to 
to see uh, the value for each of the uh, each of the district and the specifying uh, even the category whether it's high or low. For example, let me open one of the uh, of the of the map, uh, or let me create one of the thematic layer. For example, uh, just quickly. Uh, can I just uh, open one of the thematic, maybe HIV test performed, and then uh, uh, before doing that, uh, let me just open what is existing. Let me open, uh, which is called Tuzo, I think, uh, this one here. Uh, for example, uh, 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 so uh, when we um, just opened this uh, map, uh, which I started to, to display it at the first time, and then I could want maybe to search uh, maybe the facilities uh, having a data maybe greater than five, uh, uh, wow. maybe five, uh, 5,000. So to do that, I can just come here for the show data table. And here I can just easily, for the value here, be able to fit. For example, if I want to show on those facilities with five, maybe 5,000 records. Yeah. So as you can see here, I just filtered and uh, it's just now uh, showing only those facilities uh, with only uh, 5,000 uh, uh, records. But also, uh, whatever condition that you can put, you can still be able to do that. For example, Apart from showing maybe a facility with uh, having a beta uh, that is uh, greater than 5,000, I can just put a range. For example, I can just want to show uh, those facilities uh, that is actually having the beta uh, greater than 5,000 and less than maybe uh, 15,000. So how to do that? I just need to concatenate, just add end and then we uh, specify uh, maybe 500, 5,000, and uh, uh, put this one less, uh, less than uh, maybe uh, maybe 15, so I can just do that one. So as you can see, I can just put some condition giving uh, the range that I want uh, those uh, facilities or information that uh, have the data uh, uh, which is uh, greater than, uh, greater than uh, 500 and then uh, greater than uh, 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 15, uh, 15,000. So that's how you can keep on uh, putting some range. And if you, you look clearly to just see, uh, it gives you uh, some of the, uh, some of the uh, conditions that you can use. Uh, apart of that, I can just check maybe those who are greater than maybe 20,000, Maybe if I do this, I find that there are two facilities. We are actually having uh, more than 20 records uh, for the HIV testing uh, testy performed. So you can uh, you can easily be able to uh, to do that and then uh, be able to uh, to search even there uh, for the for the ranges that are there. So uh, that's it for the for the data table. Uh, but uh, another functionality that I might not be able to demonstrate here that you can still, for example, uh, be able to download the data, as I said. Uh, and uh, when downloading the data, which means maybe you want to use it for other, uh, other external, external tools like uh, QGIS or probably uh, uh, maybe ArcGIS. So for those who are familiar with those one, if you click here, it's actually uh, giving you the, the detail that this, uh, it is supported, uh, this JSON that you are downloading, 
Uh, you can use it for the QG, uh, GIS software, including QGIS and ArcGIS desktop. So if you download it and then you upload to the QGIS, you will get the same map being drawn to another to another external uh, external uh, external system. So uh, before I continue to another uh, another session, uh, I would like you to perform one of these exercises here. Uh, to actually be able to uh, produce what I actually uh, done it here, and then uh, uh, see if you can be able to uh, to uh, to uh, to filter or to to filter uh, data within the uh, within the data within the data table. So. Uh, Let me share my screen, showing that exercise where I just give you a uh, uh, just uh, two minutes from now. So I uh, remember the the uh, the the map that uh, you. Uh, you 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 just saved it. I uh, remember uh, from the previous session. So I would like you to uh, to load it, and then uh, be able to do some uh, filtering, where I would request you to uh, to filter uh, those values uh, which are more than uh, uh, five five thousands, and then uh, and then you can also. Uh, filter those who are between uh, 5,000 and the 15,000. 15, so i uh, just give you uh, two minutes from now. Let me know uh, if you are done. I'll just be back here uh, in the two minutes. So 16 in the, uh, 15 minutes, you should be back. Thank you and good luck. Sorry, Tuzu, Sorry, can you come to come on again? the screen. We didn't clearly hear you. Can you just come back for one second? Oh yes, yes. I just asked you to to open or to open the uh, the report that you saved it before that I asked you to save, which was showing the HIV test performed. And after you have uh, opened it, I want you to uh, exercise on uh, uh, using the data to how to filter the facilities uh, which is having. Uh, more than uh, 5,000 records. And also uh, another feature would be like, uh, how many facilities uh, is having a more than, uh, is running between more than 5,000 and 15,000. Uh, is that clear? Yes, 